TIPCO Data Virtualization Platform provides two options for a migration of resources and principles. One is using manual export-import of objects, and the other is using the default option of Deployment Manager. Both these tasks are human-dependent and vulnerable to human errors. To overcome this, Sage IT has designed a one-of-its-kind automation of build and deploy process for TDB resources with TipDave. Hello and welcome to the demo on automation of TDB build and deploy process. Before we proceed to the demo, let me show you the one-time setup and other configuration that needs to be done in order to achieve this automation. As a one-time setup, when a new group or a team is onboarded to TDV, the TDV admin has to create a workspace for that team under shared folder. In our case, we have a team called Digital Transformation that will be using TDV for building its application and publishing its data. Now, in order to publish the data as database or web services, the TDV admin has to create the database as well as web services folder for this particular team or group. Kindly note the name should be same across the three places. Now once this is done, the TDV admin also has to create the cache repository connection which will enable this group to leverage the caching feature of TDV. The last step for an admin would be to assign and propagate the proper privileges at the root folders under shared, under web services and under databases. So this completes the one-time setup in the source environment or development environment. Now coming to the target environment. In the target environment, the TDV admin has to create the root folder under shared, web services and databases. After creating these folders, the TDV admin has to assign the proper privileges as per the target environment. This completes the one-time setup of the target environment. Now let us see the folder structure that will be used for development purposes. As you can see, we are having application specific folders under the group folder or the team's folder. We have application specific folder as well as the common services folder inside digital transformation folder. The common services folder contains the functionalities that can be leveraged across multiple applications within digital transformation workspace. The cache repo will be shared by common services as well as different applications within digital transformation workspace. Now let us see the folder structure within the application folder. We have used the layered architecture or layered structure within the application folder wherein the first layer is the physical layer which consists of data source connection. The second layer is the business layer in which all the data processing and data publishing logic will be placed. The third layer is the utilities folder which will contain the utilities that would be required by this application. The business layer is further divided into three sub layers. First being extract layer, second being assemble layer and third being publish layer. The extract layer consists of objects that are created directly over the data source tables. The assemble layer consists of logical grouping of objects which are created by merging the objects in the extract layer. The publish layer consists of the cached object which is ready to be published outside of TD. Now let us see how the published objects will look like. Under the databases we have created the schema for each and every application. The objects will be published under their own application folder schema. Similarly, under the web services folder, we have created a service for each schema. And each object will represent an endpoint within that service. So 
So this completes the folder structure and the one time setup which is required to achieve this automation. Now coming to the configuration part, TDD admin has to maintain the source server details which will be used by the build process. The TDD admin also has to maintain the target server information along with the cache repository connection details in the target server. This file needs to be maintained for each and every targets. For example, one each for dev, test and production environments. Now coming to the configuration that needs to be maintained by the development team. Kindly note that we are using GitHub as the VCS tool for source code management. We have created a repository for the digital transformation group in GitHub. Under this we have application specific folder along with few other files. This app folder will contain an execute file along with few other files with the same name as the view name. These are the views which are cached in the TDD in application folder. This file will contain the script for cache table creation or cache table update. The execute file will contain the name of the views or the objects that needs to be cached as part of the current migration. In our case, we have two views VW pub customer employee details as well as VW pub order shipping details that are cached. Our automation process will come to this file, iterate over it, get the names of the objects, then go to the corresponding object file, get the script and execute it in the cache repository. There is one more file which is called a set file that needs to be maintained by the development team. This file should be maintained for each and every environment. For example, one each for test, prod and QA. This file contains the data source connection details on the target server. This file along with the target file provided by TDV admin would be used by the deploy process to set the connection details on the target environment. Now let us see how the automation works. We are using Jenkins to achieve the automation. We have created a simple form which will take two parameters. The first parameter is the department name which is same as the workspace name in TDV. And the second parameter is the application name. For our current demo, we will be migrating the app01 folder from the source environment to the target environment. But kindly note, if the application that is being migrated has dependency on the common services folder, then the common services folder needs to be migrated first. For example, uh, if I have application 02 that needs to be migrated and I have changed common service folder to add new features that would be used by application folder 2, then I need to migrate the common services first and then the application 2 folder. But in our case, I already have the common services folder migrated to the target environment. So I'll only be migrating the application 01 folder to the target environment. So let us go to Jenkins and start the process uh, to give a digital transformation and the application name is app01. On the build, and we can see the console logs. Jenkins will call our build process first, and the build process will check if the folders that needs to be migrated exist in the source server or not. It will take a list of folders that exist and create the archive file using that folders. 
Once the build process is complete, the Jenkins will get the execute file and iterate over the list of views or objects that are cached. It will go to each and every file, get the script and execute it in the TDB cache repository. Once the cache tables are created, the Jenkins will call the deploy process. The first step under deployment process is to remove the old backup files and create a new backup file using the current code base in, in the target server. The backup will be created for the particular application that we are migrating. If it exists, then the backup will be created. If it doesn't exist, then the backup is not created. After creating the backup, the deployment process will proceed and deploy the new archive file to the target server. Once the file is deployed, the process will set the privileges and the resource owner. Our deployment process is complete. Let us see it in the target environment. Now we can see that the app0 in folder is available in the target environment. Also, we have the folders available under the published resources as well. We can test the connection and see if the connection details are migrated properly. This completes our automation process for TDB build and deploy. Thank you. With Tip Dave, automation of build and deploy process for TDB resources can be achieved with one click automation. Deployment is faster and human errors can now be completely avoided. Leads can carry out code deployments without intervention from admins. Achieve continuous deployment without dependency with Sage IT's Tip Dave. Welcome to Sage IT. Together moving forward.